David Schwimmer has paid tribute to Matthew Perry with a heartbreaking post. It comes after fellow Friends co-stars Matt LeBlanc, Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston all broke their silence for the first time since the star's death on October 28. In a post on Instagram, Schwimmer said he was sharing his favorite photo of the pair, which featured the two stars dressed up for hilarious flashback scenes from Ross and Chandler's days at college, when they were in a band together. David thanked his friend and colleague for 10 incredible years of laughter and creativity as he said he will never forget the star. He also made reference to one of Matthew's most iconic phrases from the show as he closed his sweet message off. The 57-year-old said, I will never forget your impeccable comic timing and delivery. You could take a straight line of dialogue and bend it to your will, resulting in something so entirely original and unexpectedly funny it still astonishes. And you had heart which you were generous with, and shared with us, so we could create a family out of six strangers. This photo is from one of my favorite moments with you. Now it makes me smile and grieve at the same time. I imagine you up there, somewhere, in the same white suit, hands in your pockets, looking around, could there be any more clouds? Last night we reported Courtney Cox said she is so grateful for every moment with the late actor, sharing a favorite clip from their time together on Friends. In her first solo statement since Barry's death, Cox shared a video of the pair filming in London as she said, When you work with someone as closely as I did with Matthew, there are thousands of moments I wish I could share. For now here's one of my favorites. To give a little backstory, Chandler and Monica were supposed to have a one-night fling in London. But because of the audience's reaction, it became the beginning of their love story. In this scene, before we started rolling, he whispered a funny line for me to say. He often did things like that. He was funny and he was kind. Cox added. I am so grateful for every moment I had with you Maddie and I miss you every day. It comes after fellow Friends co-star Matt LeBlanc, who played Perry's on-screen best friend Joey Tribbiani, also paid tribute last night. LeBlanc shared a selection of pictures, which showed the pair in their roles, writing, Matthew. It is with a heavy heart I say goodbye. The times we had together are honestly among the favorite times of my life. It was an honor to share the stage with you and to call you my friend. I will always smile when I think of you and I'll never forget you. Never. Spread your wings and fly brother you're finally free. Much love. And I guess you're keeping the 20 bucks you owe me. And just seconds before Squimmer's tribute, Jennifer Aniston also broke her silence for her first solo statement in the wake of Matthew's death. She wrote on Instagram, Oh boy this one has cut deep. Having to say goodbye to our Maddie has been an insane wave of emotions that I've never experienced before. We all experience loss at some point in our lives. Loss of life or loss of love. Being able to really sit in this grief allows you to feel the moments of joy and gratitude for having loved someone that deep. And we loved him deeply. The statement continued, he was such a part of our DNA. We were always the six of us. This was a chosen family that forever changed the course of who we were and what our path was going to be. For Maddie, he knew he loved to make people laugh. As he said himself, if he didn't hear the laugh he thought he was going to die. His life literally depended on it. And boy did he succeed in doing just that. He made all of us laugh. And laugh hard. In the last couple weeks, I've been pouring over our texts to one another. 
laughing and crying then laughing again. I'll keep them forever and ever. I found one text that he sent me out of nowhere one day. It says it all. See the second slide, she concluded. Maddie, I love you so much and I know you are now completely at peace and out of any pain. I talk to you every day. Sometimes I can almost hear you saying could you be any crazier? Rest little brother. You always made my day. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. Matt LeBlanc and Courtney Cox gathered alongside castmates David Schwimmer, Lisa Kudrow and Jennifer Aniston for the late actor's funeral service at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park on November 3. In a joint statement to U.S. publication People, Matthew's fellow co-stars said they were utterly devastated and described their relationship as more than just castmates. We are a family. Matthew released his memoir Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing last year where he spoke candidly on dealing with an addiction to drugs and alcohol. Following his death, the Matthew Perry Foundation was set up in the star's memory, promising to continue his commitment to helping others struggling with the disease of addiction. Los Angeles police had responded to a radio call just after 4 p.m. on October 28 for a death investigation of a male in his 50s, the PA news agency understands. A statement from Captain Eric Scott of the Los Angeles Fire Department said they found a male unconscious in a standalone jacuzzi, 